and those of items clearly new door. So, they have been first to be your your on the invoice compares to me due to be so here casting but then here film some ya elsker some it barn of stave elsker or the scooby doo on zombie island for nitten who no order her films in any mere film of one brothers or ya elsker them then a lucky lucky go an awesome cast go away to leave me new into or we see his buttons bye e enjoy video We found a reason to climb high Breaking the mold just to inspire With all of our stars in line Knowing there's no time to waste It's the fire inside the instinct the drive That's right! Excuse me! Run and hide! Run boy! Run boy! But they can't fool your nose. Uh, no offense, old buddy, but I think your nose might be losing its touch. Like, hello? Freddy! Soiks! We just caught you on the tube! Busy? Nah, Scoob and I were just thinking of taking some time off. Like we're used to eating big meals. I hope you don't mind, but I, I asked the gang to come along. Hey, easy boy! It's great to see you too, Scoob! Ooh, not too friendly, is he? Besides, it's probably just a hologram of some guy in a pirate suit. But there's always a logical explanation for these things. <sighs> Bad guys in masks, mechanical claws, magnets, hologram projectors. <laughs> Too much like the good old days. I've got a show to do. I need a real, live ghost. What I want is a house that's really haunted. I mean, there must be one somewhere in Louisiana. Yeah, he was printing millions of counterfeit dollars in the basement with his printing press. What we originally thought was mold was really green ink. See? Uh, uh huh. Yes, we do carry the Hair Razor series. Number 23, the Vampire Village? Got it. Number 24, the Creepy Clown Town? Got it. Number 25, Menace at Mummy Manor? Got it. Yes, I'll hold them till Tuesday. Two weeks from Tuesday? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Bye. Well, thank you. And this is your room. I hope you'll both be comfortable. <laughs> well, I have never met a pair who ate so much. Your room is this way, Fred. You'll have a beautiful view of the harvest moon tonight. I hope you'll be comfortable here. Who brought this... this... dog? We do not have television on my island. Lina, what are they doing here? You might show them mine. <laughs> I see. Really, Lina. It has been in my family for generations. It was a pepper plantation. Some of the hottest peppers in Louisiana grow on this island. I've made a lot of poor boy sandwiches in my time, but this is going to be the biggest of them all. I see you boys like it hot. Miss Lena, I see you brought you some company, eh? Well, if they want on it, they come to the right place. People's go into that bayou, and they don't never come out. Well, way back there in the 1700s, pirates used this bayou to hide from the law. They know only a fool will come a looking up in here. Flower beds? 
Oh, incredible. Where? I don't see anything. Oh, this is too much. My job. I was doing some planting, got thirsty, went to get a drink, and came back to find these two. Hey, you two. Get back to work. You, 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 you ate all the contraband. You're a couple of gorgonzolas. You're fired. Should've let the gators eat you. I can't stand tourists. Now all your splash and chase Big Mono way. Says you. This here's my hunk pig, Rojo. He's a lot better than any hound dog. Can smell a catfish a mile away. <laughs> lot smarter than any dog, too. Now get these trespassing tourists off of my boat. I got fishing to do. Stories like that always give me the heebie-jeebies. No wonder you became a reporter. That moat monster almost sliced you up like a pepperoni pizza. And then we wouldn't have Coast to Coast with Daphne Blake. Your very successful syndicated series on Americana. Going on its second season, I might add. I never miss it. <sighs> and I would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for that big dog 